remember enjoying enjoying the movie Bad Moon, even though I don't remember it too well. It's been a few years because I didn't have a copy uh, on DVD anymore for some reason. But I managed to find a copy. And it has Bad Moon, Body Snatchers, Coma, and I can't remember the fourth movie. It's like a two disc uh, set I picked up at Walmart for like eight dollars. But um, it, when it first came out, I don't remember. I don't remember hearing hearing anything about it, or even knowing that it was out. I just happened to be in the movie theater and, uh, in Boise and saw the poster. And, you know, had the werewolf head on the poster with the clouds behind it and you know, the full moon shining through the one of the eyes. Like, okay, it looks like a pretty decent uh, werewolf movie. I need to see this. And there wasn't anything too special about it. You know, the acting wasn't all that great, but um, I like the way the werewolf looked. Um, just a fun uh, movie. Some pretty gruesome kills in the movie. And it was definitely weird to see the kid that uh, was in the uh, Dennis the Menace movie that came out in the earlier mid-90s. Um, it was the same kid in this movie, so it was kind of weird to see him in a horror movie. But... Um, Definitely a pretty decent um, werewolf movie from what I remember. I definitely need to watch it again now that I have it on DVD. Silver Bullet, love that movie. Um, I thought it was. Just a really well done movie. Um, I like the way the world looks in that movie. Um, that Corey Haim was pretty good. Um, uh, a lot of creepy, eerie scenes in that movie, um, especially when Corey Haim's character Marty, you know, takes off in his motorized wheelchair and heads off down the road and out into the woods to shoot off fireworks late at night, and you know, find out that the uh, Werewolves out there stalking him. It was definitely different, you know. That the werewolf is a pastor in the movie. You know, the character is a pastor. It was kind of different uh, at the time, but the I thought it was just a really well done movie. Wolfen's another one I really love. Um, Albert Finney's one of my favorite, another favorite actor. Um, I thought it was a really well done movie, just really, really super creepy movie. Um, a lot of good acting again. Um, of course it takes place in New York City, I think it takes place in the Bronx, somewhere right around there. It's been a while since I've seen this one, but um, definitely a good movie. Um, of course some people say it's not a werewolf movie, but I consider it to be. I mean, they are wolves. Um, they're, you know, people uh, turning into wolves. Um, of course, it's cool. You, you get to see what the wolves are seeing. And it's like a, what do you want to call it? Like a wolf vision or, I don't know. But just a different look to the movie. Um, just overall, really generally creepy movie. The Howling, that's definitely one of the creepiest uh, werewolf movies. Just the way the wolves look in this movie, the werewolves look in the movie. Just really creepy, and the transformations are uh, great. Um, it's been a while since I've seen this one, too. I, I don't know what, I lost some of my DVDs over the years. But I did manage to grab this one. They had like a DVD that has uh, the Howling on one side and the Howling 2 on the other side, but uh, so it's been a few years since I've seen this one, but I've always really liked this movie, and just really creepy, eerie um, werewolf movie, um, one that still really creeps me out to this day, um, 
Um, just a, uh, really good acting. Um, special effects are really good, especially for you know the time that it came out. Uh, you know, it was filmed and everything. It was '81, if I remember. Um, but just really, really well done. I had to put American an American Werewolf, Werewolf in London um, at number one. My favorite, definitely my favorite uh, Werewolf movie. Um, just really good acting, just overall creepy um, Werewolf movie. Just you know, especially when their two characters are uh, main characters are you know hitchhiking through Europe and they. You know, at the beginning of the movie, they're in the back of that truck, and they get out and walk up to that pub out in the out in the middle of nowhere, um, uh, run. They run into the you know townspeople inside the pub and just you know, aren't really friendly. Um, of course, I find it odd that they have a you know a pentagram painted on the wall. And of course, they, you know they take off and they're walking down the moors at you know late at night and it's getting foggy. Being stalked by the werewolf, um, of course, everything just really goes downhill after that. But just a really well done, awesome um, werewolf movie. Definitely um, had to put it at number one spot because just I think the I have to say the greatest werewolf movie really. Um, just I think it's it really hold holds up well.